Hey, what's up, fellow space enthusiast? Welcome back to Study Room 26. If you haven't already, make sure to check out our previous video on the Apophis asteroid where we discussed its potential danger to Earth. Today, we've got some exciting news. NASA just announced that they were wrong about asteroid Apophis. Yeah, you heard that right. So let's dive into the latest discoveries and find out what's going on with this fascinating space peanut. Asteroid Apophis is a pretty infamous object because when it was discovered in 2004, there was an initial scare that it might impact the Earth in 2029. It's a very close approaching asteroid. All right, let's start with a quick recap. Apophis, also known as Asteroid 99942, is a massive near-Earth object, about 1,100 feet that is 340 meters broad, made up of various metals including nickel and iron. It caught our attention back in 2004 when astronomers spotted it as a potential threat to our planet. And let me tell you, the scientific journey to understand this cosmic rock has been one heck of a ride. Apophis was initially discovered by astronomers working at Arizona's Kitt Peak National Observatory, but due to technological problems and bad weather, they could only observe it for two days. Luckily, more observations followed, and by 2005, this space menace was given the name Apophis, referring to an ancient Egyptian deity associated with evil. Now, back in 2005, things started to get really nerve-wracking. Scientists at CNEOS determined there was a 2.7% probability that Apophis could collide with Earth in 2029, based on visual observations made in 2004. Can you imagine? That was enough to put Apophis at the top of the Torino and Palermo impact hazard scales. But hold on, folks. More recent data is in, and guess what? NASA's refined calculations have almost ruled out the possibility of Apophis striking Earth in 2029. Phew, a sigh of relief for all of us, right? On April 13th, 2029, Apophis will make a jaw-droppingly close encounter with Earth, passing within just 19,000 miles, that is 31,000 kilometers of our home planet. That's closer than most geosynchronous satellites. And over 2 billion people in the Eastern Hemisphere will be able to see it with the naked eye. So mark your calendars for this epic cosmic event. But of course, we can't ignore the what-ifs. Although Apophis won't be harming us anytime soon, what would happen if an asteroid of this scale were to hit Earth? According to experts, the effects would be catastrophic, generating energy equivalent to millions of nuclear bombs. The outcome would largely depend on the impact site, and in a worst-case scenario, it could cause tsunamis and intense destruction near densely populated areas. Don't worry, though. Scientists aren't just sitting back, twiddling their thumbs. They're preparing for Apophis's flyby and using this opportunity to gather valuable data. The upcoming asteroid sampling mission called Sirius Rex will allow us to study Apophis up close and understand its composition. Who knows? This knowledge could be vital in the future if we ever need to protect our planet from an asteroid collision. Interestingly, researchers are eager to understand what's inside this cosmic giant. By studying Apophis's internal structure, we could unlock the secrets of other potentially hazardous asteroids. Think of it as an interstellar ultrasound. The data gathered during its flyby in 2029 will be invaluable in advancing our understanding of asteroids and their potential impact on Earth. So, my fellow stargazers, don't worry too much about Apophis. It won't be raining asteroids on us anytime soon. But let's stay curious and vigilant as we explore the vast cosmos around us. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss our future space explorations. Thanks for joining us in Study Room 26, your go-to channel for all things space and beyond. Remember to watch our previous video on the Apophis asteroid for more exciting cosmic adventures. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars, and as always, happy studying!